Hey, say hi to Hi. Hi. How cool Hello. is this? How are you? I'm wonderful. What is, but this is fantastic technology. What this is your is name? Fantastic. Yeah. This is um, I'm Gina. This is my son Ethan. Hello. I am a Dukes Hazard fan, and he is a Smallville fan. Yeah. Wow. So it's cross generations. That's fantastic. I, I so love that. Thank you for for growing him up properly with Smallville. <laughs> <laughs> so he had a question for you about sure. Smallville. So, okay. Um, your since like I really like Smallville. Um, I was wondering, um, what was it like for your kids when like you were doing the show like ah. what did they feel like you know it's uh, it's it's always a little strange when your dad is on television mm -hmm. even though it was such a wonderful show the last thing in the world a teenager wants to do my kids were teenagers when i was doing smallville but not unlike clark kent the last thing a teenager wants to do is stand out because of their parents <laughs> so, so and i think I, I heard a wonderful story about bruce springsteen who your mom will know but you won't know bruce springsteen <laughs> Kids made him drop them off a block away from school so that no one knew he was their dad. <laughs> now, it wasn't that they were ashamed of their dad, but they just didn't want to stand out because their father was famous. And I, I experienced that myself. And I have to tell you, it, it hurt my feelings a little bit, but I understand. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so that's that's what a great question. What an insightful question that was. <laughs> Did you expect that answer? Did you expect the answer? Not really. <laughs> you thought you it was all going to be... Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that's, that, that doesn't seem to be how it works. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was your other question about um, um, so dancing? So I used to be in this um, class called the Ballroom Basics where, wow. like, um, yeah, mm -hmm. we would do, like, ballroom dancing, and they taught us a bunch of dances. So at right. the end, what we would do would be we'd have, like, this big dance where, like, we dance with all our parents, and my great-grandmother is in town. So I danced with her in front of all of my friends, and I was so embarrassed. So I was wondering what it's like for you to dance with all those people. Well, I'm a bit of a ham. So I enjoy I enjoy a crowd. Uh, it really it really uh, I feel more comfortable in front of a bunch of people than I do not. Mm. But I have to tell you, I will bet you that your grandmother's shining moment in her entire long life. Great grandmother. That dance, great grandmother. Oh my goodness, mm. was that dance with you? Mm. You, I'll bet you made your great grandma happier than she has ever been. Mm -hmm. yeah, so remember that. Mm -hmm. Yes, she was very happy. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So you know, occasionally, occasionally you have to be a little embarrassed, so that your parents can get a little love. Your grandparents can get a little love. In your case, your great-grandparents can get a little love and, and take something into their soul for the rest of their lives. So I applaud you for having the nerve to be embarrassed. I understand that. But to spend that time with your great-grandma in front of a crowd. You're a good guy. Thanks. Indeed. So, you are Indeed. so you did a good job, Mom. Now no, we're all oh, yes. Yeah, it's all me. Let me tell you. <laughs> now, now, now. now they're all squished. Thank you guys very much.